Hi, I'm Will Hobbs, here to tell you about my new novel, Take Me to the River. Take Me to the River is an outdoor adventure story. Probably you're not surprised to hear that. That's a lot of what I do. I grew up having adventures in the outdoors and reading outdoor adventure stories. A couple of my favorites are The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Treasure Island. My favorite adventure story of all times? The Lord of the Rings, of course. Take Me to the River, like a lot of my novels, grew out of an, out of an adventure of my own. Let's take a look at the cover. You might guess you're looking at the Colorado River and the Grand Canyon. Nope, that's the Texas-Mexico border you're looking at. Those are the spectacular lower canyons of the Rio Grande River, the most rugged and remote 100 miles of our 2,000-mile border with Mexico. I canoed that stretch of the river just to see it and experience it. A couple of years went by and I started thinking maybe I could write a story and I got an idea of something that might happen down there. Let's take another look at the cover. That's our narrator Dylan who's paddling the canoe. Dylan's from North Carolina and he's come all the way out to far west Texas to paddle the river with a cousin he's never met. That cousin is named Rio, and he's the one who's rowing the, rowing the raft. But what you might be asking is that Black Hawk attack helicopter doing on the cover. Well, actually there are six of those Black Hawks. On Dylan and Rio's first stay on the river, six American Black Hawks fly overhead on a mission of some kind into Mexico. Dylan and Rio have no idea what's going on, but before long they're going to be swept into a series of events that turn downright scary. I wrote a lot of suspense into the story. I meant it to be a nail biter. So clip your fingernails before you get started. Before I sign off, I wanted to invite you on a hike with me into the Santa Catalina Mountains in southern Arizona. Uh, sorry about the short notice, you got about two seconds. Grab a bottle of water and an energy bar. Here we go. Well guys, we've made it. Thanks for coming with me. We've just climbed 4,000 vertical feet in southern Arizona, high into the Catalina Mountains. You're looking from about 7,300 feet in the near vicinity of La Ventana, a formation called the Window, down onto Tucson, Arizona. And if I move the camera around a little bit here, you're going to see some pretty amazing granite. These kind of formations, well, this is the, this is the kind of country that inspires my books. These Catalinas are really, really rugged. As you can tell, and this is the source of source of my stories. Really, are wild places like this. Let me come on around and well, here's here's your yours truly. I hope I'm hope I'm in the picture. This is the first time I've ever used one of these flip cams. I think I'm gonna have to get one. So when I get up into a rugged area like this, I'm always thinking of taking my readers along with me, and. Uh, and then I have to go home and find the words, find the characters to put in this kind of amazing setting. And then I have to think of a good what if. What if this or that might help happen? And, and I'll cook up an adventure and uh, put a lot of tension into the story. And uh, of course, I'll work on it a bunch. I'll revise it at least twice. You're usually reading the third version. And uh, the best, best part of all, is when it falls into your hands and I feel like you're, I'm taking you along with me down the Grand Canyon or way up into rivers up in Canada or Alaska or maybe who knows one day I'll, I'll write a story that's set in these Catalina Mountains. One more look at the uh, Sonoran Desert before I run into the trailhead. This kind of country is just rife with uh, story possibilities. So many wildlife here. There are Gila monsters, desert tortoises as we get a, lot, a little lower, lots and lots of rattlesnakes. 
they're not real active right now. Javelinas, plenty of them, bobcats, cougars, mountain lions, all kinds of elements that might be, uh, might liven a story up. And this is where you can find your ideas right from the environment. Hey, new hat. I found this way out in West Texas, in fact, only a quarter of a mile from where Dylan and Rio launch on the Rio Grande River. Well, if you like Take Me to the River, I got 17 other novels that you might enjoy. The one before Take Me to the River is called Go Big or Go Home. It's about a kid who gets infected by life from Mars by way of a meteorite that nearly nails him on page three. Well, I always wanted to write a story that starts out with a bang. Go Big or Go Home brings to mind three last things that I wanted to say to you. Go big with your life, go big with your education, and go big with reading. <laughs>